Every year during Police Memorial Week, we honor the San Diego police officers that have made the old sacrifice, protecting and serving our city. This year, however, a little bit uh, extra special, as it marks the first time that we are presenting the Peace Cross, okay. surviving family members of those who have fallen. The Police Cross is presented posthumously to officers who, in the performance of their duties okay. and under honorable circumstances, lost their life. We are all very honored to have with us here this year the families and loved ones of 18 who are fallen officers. So thank all of you for being here today. And now to begin, please stand for the presentation of colors by the San Diego Police Department Honor Guard. Lord God, who created the heavens, ex nileho, out of nothing, we come to you with hearts that are heavy as we remember our fallen. Father, we now gather to pay our deepest honor to those officers killed in the line of duty. Father, your word tells us the wicked flee when no one is pursuing, but the righteous are bold as lions. Oh God, these officers have made the ultimate sacrifice. We are here to remember and honor these bold lions protected our Father, we know human words can never take the pain the families still feel. So Lord, down from heaven, bring divine comfort. The past, the pain families are still feeling, reach your hand to show them love and comfort. 
Draw them to you, Lord. May they never turn in anger from the only one who can heal their brokenness and pain. Lord, give these families courage to carry on, to still live and care, to not be vengeful or bitter, to simply trust your word to be. But present them, Lord, in emptiness of sorrow, Lord. Show them steadfast, faithful love and hope. Father, may times we know never erase the sacrifices of each of these officers and their families have made. May we as a department continue to remember their ultimate sacrifice and honor them for such. For Lord, these officers would not have died in the line of duty if they were not wearing the shield, doing what they loved and were called to do. They're calling, Lord, according to your word from you. In this ceremony today, Lord, as we remember our fallen officers, may this memory be a fragrance of life to us. I ask this merciful God, creator of the heavens and the earth, giver of life, Father, It is my pleasure to introduce our first speaker today, the Honorable Mayor Kevin Faulkner. Well, good morning and thank you, Lieutenant. It is my honor to be here with all of you here today, the families of our fallen officers, the men and women who protect our city, and all of those who are here that support our San Diego Police Department. The city of San Diego is one of the safest big cities in America. That doesn't happen by accident. It happens because San Diego police officers are some of the finest men and women in our city. The decision to become a police officer is not an easy one. It takes heart. It takes integrity. It takes putting your community before yourself and duty above all. It takes courage. Courage that drives officers to run toward danger when others would run away. Courage that gives officers the ability to be compassionate in the face of criticism. And courage that leads officers to protect complete strangers all while knowing that any shift could be their last. We are here today to renew our vow that we will never forget the courageous acts of the fallen. These officers, these fathers, mothers, sons and daughters made the ultimate sacrifice for their community. They put our safety before their own. We can never thank them or their families enough. I've had the privilege to get to know the family of the brave man whose name is being added to the wall today, Officer Jonathan J.D. de Guzman. And it is hard to believe that it has been nine months since we lost J.D. in a senseless act of violence. For 16 years, J.D. served the San Diego Police Department and the people of our great city with honor. In the face of this tragedy, our community has not wallowed in grief. Instead, all of us, and especially his family, hold our heads high with pride in his service and in his bravery. Jane, Jonathan, and Amira, I promise you that we will never forget, this city will never forget, J.D.'s sacrifice. J.D. is a hero, just like Jeremy Henwood, Chris Wilson, and the other 30 men and women whose names adorn this wall. We can never repay the debt of gratitude we owe each of them, but we can pledge to honor their memories. We pledge to keep building bridges between our officers and our communities. We pledge to keep forging the pathway of opportunity so we can end the cycle of violence. And we pledge to continue to stand with those who stand up for us, 
every single day and every single night. I want to thank the San Diego Police Officers Association for recognizing the fallen, supporting their families, and being a voice for the heroes who donned the badge. And I want to thank every one of you, the members of our police department, who keep our city safe every day and every night. We are in your gratitude. On behalf of a grateful mayor and a grateful city, thank you and God bless. Please welcome San Diego Police Chief Shelley Zimmerman. Well, good morning. 33, 33, San Diego police officers have now made the ultimate sacrifice. The first was an officer named Emery Campbell. He was killed in 1913 after responding to a call about a deranged gunman, angry about being overcharged 75 cents on his bar tab. As with all San Diego's 33 fallen officers, Officer Campbell died in a heroic effort to keep our public safe. After each loss, we vowed to remember the officer's life and bravery for generations to come. They will never be forgotten. We promise, we mean it, we keep our word. It is why we have our wall of honor right here outside our headquarters. It is why we are all here today. Attached to every name on our wall of honor is one family story. Each of those stories, of course, is a tale of agony and of pride. These are stories that span across months or years or decades, all beginning, all beginning with that nightmare scenario that suddenly becomes real life. A child left to grow up without a father or a mother, a parent forced to bury a son or a daughter, a wife made a widow or a husband a widower. We have a woman here with us today whose husband was killed in the line of duty in September of 1984. Six months later, her brother was killed in the line of duty as well. Both men were San Diego police officers. Her name is Kathleen Riggs Roop. Her husband was Officer Timothy Roop and her brother, Agent Thomas Riggs. Tragically, last year, Officer Jonathan J.D. de Guzman made the ultimate sacrifice. Their children, Jed and Amira, and sitting also in the front row are J.D.'s wife, Jane, and his parents, Enrique and Faye, who became the first recipient of our San Diego Police Cross Medal, a new award recognizing our city's fallen officers. Today, today, we will bestow that same honor medal to the families of our other 32 brave men and women whose names are listed and etched into our wall of honor. We are honored and privileged to have 18 family members who were able to join us for today's remembrance ceremony. Among those here today are the son and several other relatives of Officer Thomas Keats, killed in the line of duty 80 years ago in 1937. As we all know, hiring a new police officer is no simple task. One basic challenge is that it is very hard finding people who are brave enough to do this job. Now, this isn't meant as a knock on those potential recruits who learn about all the dangers of being a police officer and decide, hey, this just isn't for me. Instead, it is meant as the highest compliment to everyone who wears the uniform and badge of our San Diego Police Department. It is a daily act of courage just to put on our uniform and head out into our community to protect and serve our public. As proud as I am of our officer's bravery, I'm just as proud of the way our police department pulls together in times of mourning. How we mobilize at a moment's notice to provide comfort and support 
to a grieving family member whose worst nightmare has come true. Many times, this grieving family member is just looking to hear a story or two, a little anecdote, or tidbit, something, anything, to give even a fuller picture of what their loved one was like as a police officer and as a human being. As officers who have served alongside our fallen, we know these stories. We think about these stories every single day. We pass those stories along from one generation of officers to the next. Yesterday, I had the privilege of speaking at an event honoring all of our San Diego County law enforcement officers who made the ultimate sacrifice. I told a story yesterday that I'd like to share again today. It's about something that I witnessed while I was sitting by myself at the county's memorial wall, which is located outside the county administration building on Harbor Drive. I wasn't in uniform. I had ridden my bicycle to that spot. I sat down and I looked at the names. I was alone at first with just my thoughts, but soon I saw a family with two young children walk by the wall. They were likely going to the water park, but as they walked by, one of the children, who was probably no older than four or five, asked his parents, what was this pretty wall? The dad and mom stopped and they looked. They likely didn't even notice the wall until their daughter asked them the, the question. I watched them as they walked around the wall and looked at the names. At first, they walked very fast, but then they slowed, and then they completely stopped and read each name, some out loud. I heard the dad say, there are a lot of names on this wall. They hadn't yet answered the question, and the daughter asked them again, why are all the names on this wall? I watched the mom and dad look at each other, likely trying to find the right words to explain to their young children. And this is what I heard them say. This wall is dedicated to police officers. The young boy interrupted and said, like Uncle Jimmy? The dad said yes. The daughter asked, does Uncle Jimmy have his name on a wall back home? The way they were dressed in high black socks and sandals, I figured they weren't from San Diego and they were tourists, but this confirmed it. They looked at each other and the mom gasped and took a deep breath and said, let's all pray that Uncle Jimmy's name is never on a wall like this. The kids, they looked confused and the parents knew. They, they weren't explaining very well the significance of the wall. But then I heard them say this. Kids, police officers like Uncle Jimmy, they, they have a dangerous job. They go after the bad people to protect all of us. Remember when you get scared and even though we tell you that everything is gonna be okay, but you like to call Uncle Jimmy because he is a police officer. And when he tells you that everything is gonna be okay, that makes you feel better. They then took the kids' hands and they held them very tight. And I heard them say this. Sometimes really bad things happen and police officers, they don't get to come home. Sometimes when they are out protecting all of us, they will never get to come home again. The names on this wall are police officers who were killed protecting us and they never got to go home, so they put their names on this wall so everyone will remember them. They will remember how brave they were and people like us can come here and we can thank them. The two kids then did something that was just so truly heartwarming. They let go of the parents' hands. They walked up to the wall and they touched the name and they said, thank you. Then the parents touched the name and said, thank you, and I will tell you that they didn't stop until they touched every name on that wall and they said thank you. They then left. I debated if I should contact them because I'm not sure they even noticed me watching them, but I decided that I would. I rode my bicycle over to them and I introduced myself. I don't think they believed me because I was dressed in cycling gear. <laughs> but I let them know that I had seen what they did and how they had touched the names and had thanked each of our fallen officers. I let them know how touched I was and how, meant, how much that meant to not just myself, but to all police officers. And here's why. That wall and our very own wall of honor means that random strangers 
like that family, will read the names and maybe say a prayer or a heartfelt thank you. And then by doing so, they help that hero's name, all of our hero's names that are etched on that wall, there and our wall here, remember year after year and decade after decade that they were heroes. And it helps us honor our sacred vow to never forget, to always remember them, and we always will. Thank you. I'd now like to invite Mayor Faulkner, Executive Assistant Chief Todd Jarvis, POA President Brian Marble to the stage to help assist with the presentation of the medals. Now when I call each family up, we, are, we want to invite everybody in the family to come up uh, and receive the police cross. Our first family will be the family of fallen officer Thomas Keyes. End of watch, November 20th, 1937. Family of Fallen Officer Michael Bushman. End of watch, November 25th, 1963. Family of Fallen Officer Robert Everett. End of watch, December 7, 1964. Family of Fallen Officer James Lewis, end of watch, December 29, 1970. The family of Fallen Officer Dennis Allen, end of watch, April 2nd, 1977. Family of Fallen Officer Archie Bugs. End of watch, November 4, 1978.
The family of fallen officer, Michael Anaya. End of watch, April 11, 1979. The family of fallen officer, Dennis Gonzalez. End of watch, June 25th, 1979. Family of Fallen Officer Ronald Ebeltoft. End of watch, June 6, 1981. The family of fallen officer, Harry Tiffany. End of watch, June 6, 1981. Family of Fallen Officer, Timothy Rue. End of watch, September 16, 1984. Riggs. Okay. The family of fallen officer, Thomas Riggs. End of watch, March 31st, 1985. The family of fallen officer, Jerry Hartless. End of watch, January 31st, 1988.
the family of fallen officer Ronald Davis. End of watch, September 17, 1991. Family of Fallen Officer, Gerald Griffin. End of watch, April 25th, 2003. The family of fallen officer, Terry Bennett. End of watch, June 26, 2003. play some golf, by the way. The family of fallen officer, Christopher Wilson. End of watch, October 28, 2010. Family of Fallen Officer, Jonathan J.D. de Guzman. End of watch, August 28, 2016. I'd now like to invite POA President Brian Marvel to the podium for his remarks. Good morning and uh, thank you for taking the time to be here today. According to the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Fund, over 21,000 officers have made the ultimate sacrifice in U.S. history, 33 of which we honor here on our wall back there. It's with heavy hearts that this year we must add a new name, Officer Jonathan J.D. de Guzman, to our roll call of fallen heroes. It's our sacred honor and duty to forever remember and memorialize each of our brave officers who have made the ultimate sacrifice. These were our family, brothers, sisters, and their friends. 
As we recognize our fallen brethren, we must also recognize the loved ones our officers have left behind. They are family, and I admire their strength and resilience. The SDPOA and the department are proud to have two memorials to preserve the memories of our fallen comrades. The memorial monument, a permanent fixture that will forever grace the front of the department headquarters. Additionally, we have the memorial on our car, Honor One, allows us to share the memories of SDPD fallen officers with communities across the country to honor the sacrifice of not only the 33 officers whose names are painted on the vehicle, but all the officers who have laid down their lives. Already this year, 45 officers nationwide have, been, have died in the line of duty. It's important to set aside time to remember these men and women, but as officers, once we pin on our badge, we should also recognize the dangers that come with the duties. We should always be faithful to our oath and vigilant for making sure that each of us comes back to our loved ones every shift with the ultimate goal of not adding another name to the memorial. Nationally, May is recognized as Law Enforcement Memorial Month, a time to recognize the service given by men and women who, day and night, protect us through enforcement of our laws, the thin blue line. These ceremonies, in which all people of this great nation may join in commemorating peace officers, past and present, who, by their faithful and loyal devotion to their responsibilities, have made the ultimate sacrifice for their communities. As we attend these solemn events locally and at the state capitol next week, culminates in Washington, D.C. for Police Week. As thousands upon thousands of peace officers, family and friends memorialize this sacrifice. In closing, I pray every day that God grants us the wisdom to make the right choices, watch over all peace officers and protect them from harm and performance of their duty, as May 15th fast approaches, I encourage family, friends, and businesses with a flag who wish to show their support to fly their flag at half mast on this day in honor of all the peace officers who have made the ultimate sacrifice, Police Officer Memorial Day. Once again, I thank you for joining us in commemorating the brave men and women who have made this ultimate sacrifice in the pursuit of keeping our communities safe. We will never forget their commitment to protecting and serving the citizens of San Diego. We are grateful they did in life and in death. Thank you and have a wonderful day.